Right, I've been asked to explain why the stock market is so damned high. I mean, we're in the middle of a global pandemic. Surely it should be crashing. It should be at an all-time low, right? Right? Instead, it's at an all-time high. What the hell? Now, keep in mind that I'm not talking about the local stock market. Not the good old JSE, aka the Johannesburg Stock Exchange over in Santon. That one is going nowhere fast, sadly. Local companies are still in dire, dire straits. We're about to get a second quarter GDP read for the South African economy, which covers that lockdown period. And let me tell you, it's going to show an annualized contraction rate of nearly like 40%. Holy shit. That lockdown, it was truly effective at shutting down the economy. The virus, not so much. No, I'm talking about the recovery of the developed world markets and the US stock market in particular. Wall Street, all time highs. After slumping in March, we've seen a terrific and unprecedented rally. After the crash of 1929, it took literally decades to recover. Even in 2008, like years, a couple of years, this time five months from a low of 23rd of March, the S&P 500 went down like a bazillions, now back at an all-time high. And what are the reasons? Firstly, the policy response was incredibly swift. Central banks around the world quickly cut interest rates. The US Federal Reserve cut US rates back to zero. It was like pumping billions of dollars into money markets, creating lending programs, helping out big businesses, small ones, buying corporate bonds. It even gave the impression that it would buy stocks if necessary. And as a result of these interventions and others, US bond rates have gone down to a fraction of 1% for like 10 year money. Interest rates for people with cash in the bank, basically zero, zip nada. So, you know, in some countries even, you have to pay the government for the privilege of putting your money into a safe bond asset. You can forget about that, I'm not buying those turds. Property assets, buildings, they're not what they used to be either. Say you own a building or a slice of a property fund, who knows, everyone's working from home. Stores shut down. Good luck collecting the rent. So there is literally no alternative for long-term savers other than buying blue chip shares. And the bluest of the blue chip stocks are the tech giants. They're doing super well right now. People are stuck at home. They've got all this time to go on, know, online shopping, watching TV, gaming, socializing and social media, and yes, occasionally working. That's been fantastic for Apple, Amazon, Facebook, Google, Microsoft, NVIDIA, Netflix, and the healthcare sector, that's also done really well. So those two parts, the core parts of the overall stock market, that's what's been pushing the indices up to the all-time highs. Banks down, oil companies down, travel-related companies down, airlines down, but that doesn't matter, they're too small. Technology and healthcare businesses account for nearly half of the total capitalization of the US stock market. So stocks it is, everyone wants them. They get bid higher and higher and higher. To put this another way, would you rather own Apple shares, a brilliant company selling useful products, or bonds issued by the US government at a negligible yield? Keep in mind that the first one is run by Tim Cook, who's a clever, honest, and caring person, and the other one's run by Donald Trump. Finally, the market is also high because the virus is waning and normal life around us is resuming. Maybe I'm a bit optimistic, but it looks to me like the global inflection, infection curve is flattened. It's beginning to turn downwards. And the rate at which infected people die, slowing down remarkably. There's progress on the COVID-19 vaccine. You know, I don't think it's going to be before 2021 or 2022 before a safe and preventative vaccine is widely available. But still, it's coming. So the blunder here was to sell your equity investments in the middle of the crisis. As always, the right thing to do is to keep your head down and do nothing. Keep calm and carry on.